This week, my house has been smelling delicious in the kitchen. I've been making Irish soda bread, and that's what I'm gonna show you how to make today. Now, I'm, of course, I'm gonna be putting my own little healthy spin on this by lowering the carbs. We're gonna be using some almond flour in our mixture as well to do that, and we're gonna cut back a little bit on the sugar. But I tell you, the end result is delicious. It's moist, it's, it's really satisfying. And the best part is, there's no yeast in this recipe, so that means, that, you know, there's no letting it rise, spending time for that, it takes hours, there's no kneading. It's just mix, put it in the pan, and pop it in the oven. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after our chef joke. So here's chef joke number one. What's the best thing about a bread joke? It never goes stale. To start our recipe, we'll preheat our oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're gonna divide up our ingredients for our bread into two bowls. We have our dry ingredient bowl and our wet ingredient bowl. So in our dry ingredient bowl, which is where we're gonna start, I have half and half equal parts of some Bob's Red Mill uh, gluten-free one-to-one baking flour. And with our flour, I'm using some almond flour. I'm using blanched almond flour here. That's where they soak the almonds and they remove that outer coating that's dark. And then what you have left is a nice light almond flour uh, right here in the bowl. So to that, we're gonna be adding some baking powder along with some baking soda, a little bit of salt, and some cream of tartar. Now remember, you can get all the written ingredients down below the video in the description area. Click where it says show more. And then we'll just take a whisk and blend everything together. Now we're going to move into our wet mixture bowl. So in our wet bowl here, I'm going to add the eggs first. That way, if there's anything wrong with the eggs, I, I haven't lost anything, right? Normally, I would place these in a separate bowl before adding them. But since this is the first thing in the bowl, I don't have to worry. Sometimes you get a rotten egg. Sometimes you get shells in your egg, but it all looks good. To our eggs, I'm gonna add some apple cider vinegar and I like to use um, the one with the mother in it. So I'll just place that in there and some buttermilk. Now the buttermilk has some sugar in it, but it's not a lot considering a whole loaf. I think there's like 13 grams of sugar in this cup. And then we'll take our whisk and combine that. And I'm gonna set that aside and we're gonna go back to our dry bowl. I have some Kerrygold butter here and a grater and I'm going to grate the butter into the flour mixture. Now I placed my butter in the freezer for about 15 minutes or so to, to firm it up so that it would be much easier to grate. Now I have a, a pan prepared for this. It's an eight inch by four inch pan and I lined it with some parchment paper. That's gonna make it real easy to get your bread out of the pan. And if some of that butter sticks in your grater, just take a knife and kind of just scrape it out. Then I take my hands and I'm just gonna mix the butter into the flour. Make sure it's all coated. Then we'll take our liquid bowl again and just, I'm gonna stir it a little bit and then I'm gonna add it to the flour. And you just wanna stir this up until everything's you know, moistened, all the flour's mixed in. And that should do it. You don't wanna overmix it. Let's get it in the pan. That's all there is to it. Okay, we're gonna carefully pour this into our pan. And you're gonna to wanna to kinda of help it in, you know, just press it in. Now, you can also cook this in a cast iron pan using the same procedure using parchment paper on the bottom of a pan. So like I have a 10 inch pan that I've done this with before to make a round loaf. So feel free to use that. Cast iron works great. It cooks the same pretty much. And I like to try to you know press it in a little bit so it fills in the cracks, the, the nooks and crannies if you will. Okay now we're going to pop this in the oven at 300 and 
75 degrees for about 25 minutes. I'll probably check it at 20 just to see how it's doing. So I took the bread out of the oven. Well, first I, I cooked it for 25 minutes and then I increased the temperature uh, to 400 and then I put it back in the oven for another 15 minutes. And here it is looking beautiful right out of the oven, nice golden brown. That's what you want. We're gonna let our bread cool for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna take it out of the pan and put it on a wire rack to cool. It's time for chef joke number two. So what did the slice of bread say to the other before the race? You're toast. So like I said, I like to eat this bread when it's just out of the oven, it's still warm, and I like to add a little butter to it. It is so delicious, you guys gotta try this. Great flavor, nice texture, and it's a little bit crumblier than a traditional loaf of bread. And it doesn't have that gluten for elasticity, but it is very good. So go ahead and wrap your bread in some saran wrap to keep it on the counter for probably about four or five days. If you'd like to try another Irish recipe, I have a shepherd's pie recipe for you to try that you might want to, you know, give it a go. It's right over here. I'll leave a link for you. And I even make a burrito out of it, of all things. So thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to hit that like button for me. All right, we'll see you next week.